go. Good morning. All right. I, I, I'm really glad because he does this for a living. So when I mess up doing it once in a while, it's okay. <laughs> we want to welcome all of you. If you didn't know we weren't having a horse, it means you were not here last week and that's your fault. I'm going to talk less so you can hear him more. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for the weather that you have provided so that we might just hear you in a different way. Lord, we just thank you so much for Richard and his wife and the, the message they're going to bring us today. We ask that your anointing be on uh, them and us that we might hear your message. And we thank you again for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Amen. This guy, you may not know it, but he's older than I am. He has over 70 awards. He has been inducted into the Hall of Fame. He has won uh, Instrumentalist of the Decade. Let me introduce Richard Kaiser. Good morning. It's good to be back. Uh, we figured out when I was here last was, I think in, uh, what was it? 2020. I was here in early March, went home, and at the end of March got married. Actually, actually we were scheduled to be married like in June or July of that year and uh, I got home about, well I think it's probably about one of the last concerts I did got home and she lived a hundred miles away and I called her and I said you know COVID is shutting down the world and looks like everybody's gonna be in lockdown why don't we go ahead and be married and get locked down together. Little did I know that when she moved in, we were locked down for months, she put me to work. Oh yeah, I can tell some sympathy there. I mean, this is the truth. I went to Lowe's so many times that when I started my car, it said you are 12 minutes from low. So, uh, but you're gonna, you're gonna discover in just a few minutes why I love her so much. It's been such a blessing to, to this ministry. But uh, before, I'm gonna do a song. This first song is called House of Gold.
He's also my sound coach. This next song, uh, my coach suggested I play it because I, I actually played it last week. Three years we've been married and doing concerts. That was the first time she'd ever heard it, and and she liked. It. So uh, if if boss likes it, then uh, I got to play it. But it's a beautiful song. It came from uh, one of the Psalms. It says, "As the deer panteth for water, so my soul longs after." Thank you. Well, I am really honored and thrilled to introduce my bride. Um, in two weeks, we will be married three years. Now, now I'll go ahead and give you her disclaimer. She's wearing a big boot. Uh, we, that, that's, that's what happens when I got a little bit too mouthy and she kicked me. 
It's just not my western boot that I wanted to wear today. <laughs> but uh, she slipped in Walmart and broke her foot. Yeah. So we went broke when we went into Walmart. <laughs> there's, a, there's a country song ever. <laughs> but uh, she, she's a great cook. I mean, I started a trend on Facebook. I started posting pictures of uh, peanut butter pie and banana pudding and, and stuffed peppers and lasagnas and, and all this different stuff and started posting. One guy posted on Facebook and says, she's just trying to fatten you up so you can't get away. <laughs> and I said, with a cook like that, who'd want to get away? <laughs> and, and you can see she's right easy to look at. And uh, she is, uh, I'm her, she's my favorite singer. I mean, I'm her biggest fan. So you're going to find out why here in just a minute. So this is Miss Denise. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. Wow, what a great crowd. This is awesome. We're so thankful that um, you had us come. And I've been looking forward to coming here. And Richard's told me so much about your church and it's exciting this is really great and exciting what's going on here so we're here to worship the Lord his word says where two or more are gathered in his name he's in the midst so there's way more than two here today so the Lord is here he's here to meet whatever need you may have in your heart in your life in your mind in in your soul today God loves you, and he's so aware of what is going on in your heart and life. So we just pray that something that we play, say, or sing will help to minister to you and just encourage you. That's really what we're all about. And we're so thankful to be able to do what we feel like the Lord's called us to do. And uh, so I'm going to start off with a song that I wrote. And just to give you a little background on it, when I went into the studio, I only had one verse. And I had been praying, Lord, you know, I'm heading to the studio. I need the second verse. And he just wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> so I didn't quite understand what was going on. But anyway, when we got to the studio, I told the musicians, just go ahead, guys, and lay the second track. And I will trust that the Lord will give me the words. Well, you know, we're so often taught about taking that step of faith. Well, that day, that was a leap of faith. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they laid the track, and it wasn't long thereafter that the Lord gave me the second verse to it. And um, sometimes, you know, Satan tries to thwart God's work. Well, all the time he does. But this song has ministered to a lot of people. We were here in Florida uh, at a church, and after the service, a gentleman came up and he said, You know, I came here today really discouraged and ready to give up. But after I heard your song, it encouraged me and gave me the strength to keep going. So that's what it's about. That's why we're here. And the title of the song is Never Give Up. Never Give Up Trying to Be What the Lord Would Have You To Be. Jesus is where I'll never give up Trying to be just 
That's what he wants me to be Now when the tempter comes along And tries to sing you his song Of what this whole world has to give Just lift up your voice And make Jesus your choice And you show me how to really live He'll be your guiding light This man of Galilee He'll lift you so high And set your spirit free Just don't ever give up Trying to be just what he wants you to be And I'll never give up Trying to be what he wants you to be I'll never give up I'll never give up Moving this old place Got the wheel and Jesus is the word I'll never give up Trying to be just what he wants me to be Just as they say when there's a river to live I've got the wheel and Jesus is the word I'll never give up Never give up, never give up Trying to be just what he wants me to be Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll switch gears just a little bit. The next song uh, is one that um, has a little different flavor, more of the Christian country feel to it. And this song was actually birthed during a very difficult time of my life. I can remember sitting on the sofa and tears just streaming down my face and crying out to God saying, Lord, what am I going to do now? Just what am I going to do? Can anybody relate? I think we've all been there at one time or another, you know. But in that moment of time, it was though I could literally feel the arms of God just reach down and embrace me. And I had never quite felt that before. But I knew then that God was there with me and he was going to go with me through that valley. And he did because he's faithful. He's faithful when no one else is faithful. You know, if you're like me, I've had friends, uh, associates, even family sometimes turn against me. But really, that's just fulfilling the scripture, you know, in the last days. But those times are hard. But when God has your heart, he's got your back. Always remember, when he has your heart, he's got your back. So he will take care of you and he will be faithful to you when all others fail you because he loves you that much. So this song is titled Life Saving Matters. We often have to pick our phones up, don't we, to call 911 for the rescue squad for matters of our physical being. But there's times when we have to grab our spiritual phone to get Jesus on the line. And that's what this song talks about. Take some time to mend this broken heart 
of mine But I know you work miracles for free Bypass the courtesy That I'll get through this misery Oh please, Dr. Jesus, rescue me Cause it's a life-saving matter Can't you see the peace and shadow? All my hopes and dreams are found Thank you so much. Can I do one more? Guys, switch guitars. This and don't. You guys, the secret is teach different songs to different guitars. That way you need more guitars, you play more songs. You gotta have a fishing rod for bass, you gotta have a fishing rod for reds, crappie, and I gotta have a guitar for different songs. Of alluding to the fact that uh, when you know learning learning to be a musician ain't the whole thing. Part of it is learning how to drive all this junk. Make it sound good. I'm gonna play a sort of an old song out of uh, I guess it's probably out of the Pentecostal hymn called "He Keeps Me Singing." Now Denise, you can lead that if they know it. Uh, here we go.
singing. That's a that's a neat old old hymnal tune. Well, how many of you have uh, have never seen us before? Oh, pretty good. Where you been? We've been up here for like 15, 20 minutes already. That's always so bad. I, <laughs> I, I was in a, a church in Evansville, Indiana, and I said that. I said, how many of y'all have never seen me before? And, you know, you can't make this stuff up. There was a guy in the very back row, raised up a white cane with a red tip on it. Y'all got that? He came back to my table after the service. He said, I still can't see you, but you sounded pretty good. <clears throat> but uh, we're from Salem, Virginia. Uh, we're in full-time ministry. I mean, we travel around and, and uh, minister in churches. Uh, we've done a lot of ministry in RV resorts. Um, a lot of cowboy church, especially out west. And I'm a veteran. I do a lot of work with guitars for vets. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a bit. But, uh, you know, we're all about serving Jesus and trying to win souls. One of the coolest things, we was at a Baptist church about three weeks ago and went to lunch with the pastor. Uh, and there was a family that was in church at the, uh, at the restaurant. And this little eight-year-old boy walked up to our table and he stood there and the pastor said, well, hey, so-and-so, how are you doing? And he looked over to us, he said, I got saved. And, you know, that's what it's about. That right there is 100% what it's about. That's why we jump in that bus and, and go the place we go. And God bless them. We love what we get to do. Uh, we, we don't do this because we have to. We do this because we get to. And we enjoy serving the Lord in this fashion and in this manner. So uh, keep us in your prayers as, as we travel. And it ain't always easy. Um, we've, we've had crazy things like uh, she fell and broke her foot. Uh, first year we came together down here, we, we was getting ready to leave to come to Florida and she says, I don't have a good feeling about this trip. And I said, we got to go. I mean, we're, we're scheduled. we got to go. She says, I just don't have a good feeling about this trip. And so we took off and came to Florida. And uh, within a week, she was on a footstool in the bus, and it collapsed. She fell back against the counter, put a bruise on her back the size of a grapefruit. And that was strike one. Two weeks later, we both caught COVID. And we was laid up for about, uh, about three weeks. And that was strike two. Well, right after that, we had a date in a cowboy church up in Micanopy, Florida, in kind of a pole barn setting like this, only they had a big stage that was about five feet off the floor. and had a bunch of different Christian artists going to be be there and I was up setting up stuff and I had for a sound check and, and I had to go back to the car to get something for my guitar and I'm old enough no better I mean you'd think instead of walking over to the steps and walking down the steps and walking to the car this 76 year old man decides to jump off the stage well, I didn't see the speaker wire. My foot hung on it and I did a swan dive onto a hardwood floor and got a black eye, cracked or, or bruised three ribs. And uh, she posted a picture of the black eye on Facebook. And one pastor called me and said, Richard, do y'all need counseling already? So, but uh, you know, we learned that it's not how many times we get knocked down. It's how many times we get back up. That's what that's what measure, and, and that's where God's faithfulness comes in. Amen. And we are so thankful for that. Uh, Denise, it's your turn. What you gonna do, baby? 
You know, I love this working together stuff. I get tired, I just get to sit down and listen to her. <laughs> Except now at the end of it, because of her broken foot, I got to pack all the stuff back up by myself. <laughs> I tend to be a really good roadie to help him, you know, but now he's having to pull more of the load. Actually, I'm finding out that this boot up here gives me a little swivel point. <laughs> So if you see me grooving up here, you know, thanks, thanks to the boot. <laughs> All right, here's a song I wrote. That's the boot scooting boogie. Yeah, boot scooting boogie. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right, here's a song, Wings of Love. Uh, oh, I got that. Okay. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> Take a trip on an airplane Cross this land on a big old train Sail to a country on a ship across the sea But the journey that awaits for the child of God To take him to a land with heavenly sod And the time to get there will be just a blink of an eye I'm more than ready Cause that heavenly city's where I want to be Gonna be riding on these levels We're all biding time at the depot of life Listening for the trumpet and sound in the night Preparing to live eternally Then she steps out on the cloud in the sky The saints of God are on the rise And together we will ride You know, I'm going to do the uh, title cut of my CD we have back uh, on the table, and we'll be sharing a little more about our products in just a few minutes. But this is a song um, titled, We Must Carry On. And you know, we've had a lot of diseases come through our world today, and um, death often brings changes to us. But you know, as children of the Lord, we have to stay focused and realize that the work of God has to continue, and that He gives us strength to do that. So here's the song we must carry on. We can stand and let old Satan lead us astray. Still our joy and love of living away. But we need to be like Joe, as in the days of old. Stand up for the right and let Jesus win the fight. Oh, I know there is a work to be done. Let his mighty work 
we need not fret and wait Of what tomorrow will bring Will it bring joy and gladness Will it bring tears and pain But we rely upon the Holy One Who hung there on the tree Who shed His blood and gave us life When He died on Thank you. Well, <clears throat> I want to show you how cool Pastor Skipper is. Uh, Y'all don't know he's got a he's got a secret side. He likes heavy metal music. So uh, I brought my special heavy metal guitar. This is a 1968 Ford Thunderbird muffler. So when I said heavy metal, I was not kidding. The hose is for oxygen. afford it. He's a tune-up. So, you know, some, someone asked me one time, what, what in the world could a muffler guitar have to do with ministry? And, and I really have two answers. First of all, um, uh, about 10 years ago, I was invited to play for uh, the Gator Nationals for Racers for Christ for their chapel service. And uh, if y'all have ever been or know about the Gator Nationals up in Gainesville, there's about 50,000 people there. And I shared my testimony and played, and seven race car drivers came forward and accepted Christ. So that's, that's what the purpose is. But the other answer is, you know, if, uh, if God could use a donkey to get the attention of one of his prophets, he could sure use a car part. Amen? come up with this particular song this is a cowboy gospel song called holy ghost riders in the sky first of all we got to see if it's going to start it is four
will run. So uh, I usually only only play one particular song with this guitar. Uh, why you might ask? Well, uh, wait for it, because it's exhausting to play. I don't, uh, I don't always do, next, but, you know, I, I like, especially when I'm in the beautiful outdoors, and, and I just get reminded of what a beautiful world God has given, and as Americans, how blessed we really are, you know, no matter... No matter how bad things seem to get, uh, we still live in the greatest country in the world. Amen? And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just take this time to, to do this, to tell you about our products as well in, in leading up to this song. I, I don't want to belabor it. But we do have some CDs and T-shirts and things that kind of help to buy diesel fuel for our bus to keep us on the road. Our bus gets about one of those per gallon. Uh, that, that's a t-shirt that I designed. It has guitar strings and a neck and no frets and it says fret not. I came up with that all by myself. And it's the first two words of Psalm 37 1. So it's a, and somebody's wearing one. I saw, uh, yeah, I saw one of the sisters here wearing one this morning. She got one years ago and I appreciate that. But, uh, we also, uh, I think I may have had this when I was here last, but uh, I've joined an organization called Guitars for Vets. And, and what we do is we buy guitars, put them in the hands of veterans who are suffering from PTSD and teach them to play guitar to treat for PTSD. Um, and I donate a portion of this book sales to Guitars for Vets. Now, I went through PTSD as being the victim of a hunting accident. I was shot, uh, I was shot in the head with number two buckshot. Uh, I'll give you the funny part first because people usually laugh about it. I was mistaken for a wild turkey. Uh, 
I don't know what's funny about that, but, you know, everybody laughs, so it's okay. But the fact is, I went through two and a half years of severe PTSD. And God brought me through that and healed me of that simply from 2 Timothy 1.7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but that of power and of love and of a sound mind. And so if you know someone who's suffering from panic attacks or fear, uh, that book is, is for you. Let me just say here that really today he's a walking miracle because um, the gentleman who shot him, he had to have been asleep sitting in the woods. Last summer, we went up to, to where it was that he got shot. What was the first time you'd been there in 40 years? Yeah. In, in 40 years. And he was showing me the place. And, and then, you know, after, after he got shot, the gentleman who did it went into shock. And Richard literally walked himself a mile out of, out of the mountains. And he still has buckshot in his head today, that in his chest, a lot. in his back, okay? But, but the Lord was good to him because the doctor told you that if had it been how much of an inch if over? If it was a half inch lower. It, it, it would have killed him. So God had a reason and a purpose for sparing his life. But it's all in this book in great detail. And we have so many people who say, oh, I couldn't put the book down. I had to read it all in the first setting. So it's a really wonderful book. And it tells of God's mercy and his healing. And also have some children's books. My oldest son is a writer of children's books. Uh, they're called Carly and Friends. And they tell biblical and spiritual truths. But the characters are all cars. So uh, uh, they're, they're great for children. <clears throat> At, like uh, Yvette is a Corvette. And Lexi is. And there's a guy named Stu. So you got the concept. And they talk about honesty and integrity and telling the truth and. and but, uh, and, and just last but not least, this is Denise's new CD. Um, I highly recommend it. It's all original stuff, but recorded in Nashville, and it's, it's just really good stuff. And that's my latest CD as well. So uh, we hope you'll consider, you know, taking us home with you. They eat a whole lot less than we do. Uh, but uh, I'd like to recognize, uh, we're just going to do just a couple more songs. Uh, I'd like to recognize the veterans. Would all the veterans please stand, if you're able. You're what's made America what it is, and we thank you for that. But uh, this song is for you.
God bless America. You ready to? You do one more, and then we'll do our duet. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for having us. It's That sounds like good exercise music. <laughs> oh, goodness. But it's been such a pleasure to be here with you today. And uh, when you smile, it makes what we do a lot easier, I'll tell you right now. It really does. But uh, we just pray that something has touched your heart today. All right. And uh, this song I'm going to do for you is called Let It Rain. It's kind of a, a, a different take on a song. I'll give you fair warning up front. But Maybe some of you today, you know the old saying, when it rains, it pours? Okay, well, that's, the, that's where the concept for this song came from. Because sometimes in our lives, it's like, you know, there's never a let up. It just keeps raining and raining, and we find ourselves saying, Lord, please, give me a break. Anybody ever told God to give you a break? Like catching a cold and then falling and breaking your foot. Yeah, yeah, okay. And something breaking down in the bus. Seriously, you know, I have the last few days been telling the Lord, God, I need a break here. Not this kind of break, though. All right. But, you know, like the Word says, He hears the cries of our heart, doesn't He? But, again, keep in mind the little saying. And I'll ask you to repeat it back to me. When God has your heart... He's got your back. So this song relates to that as well. And when those times come in your lives, always remember that the Lord will take you through. And like his word says, we don't have to worry about it because when we show and prove to him that we trust him enough to give those problems to him. And you know, you may not even see the light at the end of the tunnel that you're in. But trust me, he is the light at the end of the tunnel. And when those times come, you don't have to worry about it. Just like the word says, let it rain, let it pour. The winds may come and drive me down to my knees, but there I'll find strength and faith to believe. I'll stand strong, I'll be true. If the storms are many, or the trials be few, each and every tear that I shed he sees. I can feel his arms reaching down to me, and I just don't have to worry about it anymore. So For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Let it rain. Come on, let it pour. I just don't have to worry about it anymore. Cast my every care upon him. He be my load, be my faithful friend. Let on trouble ground my feet tread. I'll hold fast and believe what he said. Today I may be faced with a storm all around. Still he holds to my hand and leads to solid ground. And I just don't have to wait. Oh, oh, oh. 
glad today. Amen. Well, we're going to do one more song. And uh, this one, De Denise has been coaching me and trying to learn me to sing. <laughs> and uh, I'm a slow learner, I'm telling you. But uh, He's coming right along. <laughs> Brother Skipper, thank you for inviting yes. us to come back. This, this is uh, this been the highlight of our trip. Uh, I love love like like Denise. I love the smiles and when you can tell that people enjoy and and are hopefully ministered to. Uh, that's that's what's most important to us. Uh, we don't always know the hearts of everybody here. But I will simply say that if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you're missing the greatest part of your life. Just that simple. So, uh, and today's your day. Make that step today. You know, I've, I've learned, Pastor, that people go to church for a lot of reasons. They go because it's a social thing to do. They go to see friends. But often people go who really do not yet have a personal relationship with the Lord. So we trust that each and every one of you here today have that. But if by chance there's anyone here who does not, make today your day to invite Jesus into your heart. Because when he's got all of your heart, He's got your back. And you know, like this song says, as Christians, as his children, we have far too much to gain than we do to lose. Now Richard shares that Chet Atkins was his idol growing up, but mine was Dottie Rambo. Anybody remember Miss Dottie? Amen. She's been gone a long time, but you know the Lord gave her music that was so anointed that it still today ministers to us. And we like to leave you with what we call good food for thought. So as you leave and you go back to your home today, you think about this song and how that the Lord has so much waiting for you on the other side that there's too much to gain to lose.
there's too much to give. God bless you. Thank you. Pastor Skipper. Thank you, buddy. It amazes me how God blesses us and we take it for granted. And he does it all the time. Um, we haven't had anybody come sing here in the last couple of years because of COVID and, and we kind of went a different direction but uh, somebody asked me how do we know Richard and, and he came to our church 13 years ago and was coming almost every year and what you don't understand is this guy's played with Roy Clark and Chet Atkins and been at the greatest stages in, in the United States and he's here at Cowboy Up what a blessing yeah Uh, they travel on a love offering we don't pass a hat anymore if you feel led to give to them you give to them or you buy their merchandise but uh, Richard we love you guys and and one of the things I love about Richard is he he his technique he can take that daggum muffler and get into a school and talk to him about the Lord you know he goes into places that the average musician just don't go does a lot of RV parts and stuff but uh, we just want to say thank you and uh, buy their stuff if you want to let's pray Father God I just thank you for the opportunity to be here today Lord and I, I thank you for their ministry and what you're doing with them and, and how many years you've taken them down the road Lord, and I, I pray that you open doors for them to continue the ministry, that hearts might be saved, people might be changed. Lord, we just thank you for, for all you do for them and for us. Lord, we give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Next week, we'll be back with horse training with a message. Go meet Richard Kaiser and Denise. <laughs>